A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys this tutorial is not uh, a routine tutorial. It's actually a, s a test of your uh, CSS skills. I have four questions for you. Uh, you're allowed a, a little bit of a time after every question and see how many of them you can answer. If you can answer all four questions guys you're really good, good with your CSS. So shall I start then? Guys let me hit on this create new HTML button okay uh, out of these four questions uh, two are supposed to be quite simple I am expecting that you'll answer at least uh, two out of the four questions alright let me give it a title CSS test and uh, let me save the file under the same name CSS underscore test cool okay before I ask you the first question I need to bring in a div first so I'll say layout objects div tag let me call the let me give it an ID of div one and say okay I don't want to attach any rules or styles to it alright all I want to do it I want to insert five pictures of the most modern popular browsers in it okay I'll skip the alternate text in the long description for all the five pictures or the uh, browser icons three four five alright guys what you see in front of you are actually five most popular browsers now here's the first question guys all I want you to do is to affect the <coughs> opacity of uh, this first icon from the left which is uh, Internet Explorer leaving the opacity of all the other icons intact at 100% uh, but the opacity of Internet Explorer icon should be affected and uh, by as much as 50% so I want you to set the opacity to 50% uh, tell me how would you do it guys um, if you really want to answer this question you should pause this video now and if you wish you can uh, spend some time and uh, give me your answer post it in the comments but for guys who really don't have the patience and wouldn't want to actually answer this I have the answer for you if I were to uh, if I had the same task how would I do it let's see what I uh, would have done was I would have clicked on this new CSS rule button okay Dreamweaver automatically understands that I'm creating a compound rule which is right okay but at the same time the only image that I want to affect is the first image which has a source attribute or an SRC attribute which contains the letters IE guys uh, if you remember the image uh, the name of the image is uh, IE hyphen 64.png you can have a look out here so the image tag has the attribute source SRC which contains IE and there's just one image that contains uh, IE alright so as per the attribute selector that I've uh, created the rule will be applied only to the very first image and no more so I'll straight away say OK and OK once again that's because the opacity property cannot be applied through the dialog box I'll say OK and guys I'll need to hand code this opacity property so I'll say opacity and I'll set it to 0.5 alright now guys for earlier versions of IE 5, 6, 7 and 8 I have to use a filter property but uh, we'll skip it for now it's just a questionnaire and I'll save the changes and take a preview to make sure that I've done everything correctly right so guys as you can see the opacity of only the very first image <coughs> has been affected it's been reduced to 50% uh, and uh, rest all the other icons have not been affected very good okay now here's the second question guys before that let me just uh, remove the very first rule completely let me destroy the rule now the second question is what if I wanted just the opposite what if I wanted the Internet Explorer opacity to be at 1 but uh, for the other four icons at 50% how would you do it so guys if you really seriously want to answer this pause the video right now and post your answer in the comments or write it down and post it towards the end but if you really don't have the patience and you want the answer only from me if you think self-help is not the best way then uh, this is what I would have done I would have created a new compound rule okay now this was the rule that I'd created earlier if you remember all I would have done was I would have added a colon not
a colon not pseudo selector before the image tag like so so a pound sign div one space a colon not and uh, the image tag the src attribute which contains the ie let's see it in action first then i'll explain it to you let's say okay and let's say okay once again again opacities uh, cannot be uh, written through the dialog box i need to hand code it so i'll set it to an op opacity of 50 percent semicolon uh, let me take a look guys okay something went wrong uh, something didn't uh, quite go right let me just uh, ponder let me just think what went wrong okay guys I'm back and as you can see I've corrected the mistake uh, I, I don't know what I actually did wrong but I actually wrote the rule once over again all over again and uh, it works just fine uh, as you can see in the live view guys uh, the first picture has been rendered at full opacity but the other four had been uh, set to a 50 percent opacity and guys if you notice in the code area this is the way the rule looks like right now maybe maybe uh, the last time i was creating the rule i had given an extra uh, space out there probably i really don't know what mistake i did but i destroyed the rule i created it all over again and here it is you can see it out here as well okay in the css styles panel so basically what this rule means is if there's an image which has the src attribute which contain the uh, letters ie and the moment you put a colon not before it the colon not is a pseudo select uh, uh, pseudo class selector guys it it means that as long as it does not contain the um, the src attribute does not contain ie and that is true for these four pictures because these four pictures do not have an uh, src attribute which contain uh, the letters ie okay so that's the reason these four pictures have been rendered uh, <coughs> translucent but the very first picture which actually contains the letter uh, letter i has uh, is, is completely opaque now good but there was a simpler way of doing it let me come with the live view guys let me destroy this rule completely uh, there was a much simpler way of doing it let me select the very first picture click on the plus button and that uh, and that simple way was to say img plus img which means that if your image has a preceding image to the left of it then uh, the rule should get applied let me say okay and let me say okay once again then let me just type in the opacity property manually and code it let me put it to 0.5 a colon and uh, let me show it to you after saving the cha changes so there it is guys now what I've done is I've used made use of the adjacent selectors so if your image has a preceding image on the left hand side okay a preceding image so the rule should get applied wasn't this so very simple guys okay now let me destroy this uh, destroy this rule as well and here comes the third question guys I know the second question was pretty pretty tough the third question is what if I ask you to make this uh, icon uh, Safari icon uh, sit on top of the Internet Explorer icon how would you do it okay so for guys who really seriously want to answer it can pause the video now spend some time put on their thinking caps and give me the answer either write it down and put it post it in the comments or they can post it in the comments straight away okay but if guys if you don't have the patience and this is not what you are uh, have the patience or that's not your outlook you really need the answers you're not here to answer me that's fine i would have answered it in this way i would have clicked on the new css rule button okay and then i would have selected only the safari icon and the way to do it is again use the attribute selectors guys i'll say image which has an attribute src which contain contains the value safari or the word safari and that's true only for the second picture guys from the left which is the safari icon it's true only for that specific image not for any other image because that IMG SRC contains the word Safari with a with a capital S case sensitive guys all right so the rule that I'm creating will affect only the Safari icon let me say okay and okay once again let me hand code opacity property out here oh I'm not looking at opacity in fact I'm looking to make it sit over the other picture so what I'll do is I will go to the box category and give it a left margin of let's say a minus 68 and let me show it to you in uh, a preview of uh, Google Chrome 
Great. So what's happened is uh, now the Safari icon is sitting right on top of the Internet Explorer icon. Okay, this was a very simple question, guys, and I'm expecting most of you have actually answered this one correctly. And now let's move on to the fourth and the last and the final question. And all I want you guys to do is just take the Safari icon and put it behind or under below the Internet Explorer icon. Basically, it's a stack now, it's a pile where the safari icon is sitting on the top and the internet explorer icon is at the bottom i would want you to reverse the stack order so how would you reverse the order guys how would you send the icon to the back so for guys who really want to know the answer straight away don't want to pause the video think over here is the answer guys all you need to do is just need to click so guys where do you think i should be going i should be going to the positioning category and what should i do be doing next so any guesses yes guys most of you got it right uh, this is affected by the z index or, the, or uh, some people might like to call it the the z index all i need to do is i need to set the z index the z index to minus one okay that'll make sure that this image will go behind all the other images all right and uh, let me set the position to a uh, relative now guys whenever you are working with the z index or the z index you need to make sure that the position should be relative fixed or absolute cannot be static which is the default guys so now the, that i've uh, set the position to a relative um, the z index should work let me say okay and uh, let me show you a preview in google chrome so guys uh, what has happened is that the icon has actually gone behind or under or below the Internet Explorer icon and that's exactly what we were looking uh, at so guys that's it uh, I, I hope you have answered all uh, the four questions but for guys who've answered at least three of the four questions uh, uh, they can be sure that uh, they are pretty good at uh, CSS Sh and even if you answered uh, two of uh, the four questions guys you you have done a very good job so I'll see you next time with yet another uh, Dreamweaver tutorial guys or it will be flash with Access Script 3 have a good day peace